OK, so let's say I want to determine the values of x for which these curves are increasing, decreasing, and stationary. So first thing I want to do is to differentiate them. So I want to find dy by dx. So that will be, for this curve, this quadratic, minus 2x minus 5. OK? Now... A curve is increasing when dy by dx is positive, okay, when it's greater than 0. So I want to solve the inequality minus 2x minus 5 is greater than 0. So if I add 5 to both sides and divide both sides by minus 2, I get x must be less than minus 5 halves. Now, it will be stationary when dy by dx is 0. So minus 2x minus 5 would have to be 0. So minus 2x would be equal to 5. So x would be equal to minus 5 halves. OK, no great surprise there. And it would be decreasing when dy by dx is negative. So minus 2x minus 5 is less than 0. So add the 5 to both sides, divide both sides by minus 2, and you get x is greater than minus 5 halves. Now really, what you could have done is to think, well, what does that look like? Well, once I've differentiated it and found the stationary point minus 5 halves, I could think, well, that's a graph that's going to look like this. So if I draw in an x-axis, that's minus 5 halves. I don't care where it's crossing the x-axis. That's not interesting to me. But I do know that we are increasing here. So when x is less than minus 5 halves, I know we're stationary at minus 5 halves, and I know we are decreasing when x is greater than minus 5 halves. So as long as I've found the stationary point, I can then draw a little graph of what this would look like to then identify the inequalities. But doing it algebraically, works just as well. So let's have a look at number two. I'll get rid of that and that as well. OK. So first of all, dy by dx. So differentiating this, I'm going to get the three multiplying with the third. So x squared take away 10x plus 23. OK? Now, if I use the same technique as I did before, OK, um, with number 1, <coughs> then what I'm looking for is if it's increasing, I want to solve the inequality dy by dx is greater than 0. So x squared minus 10x plus 23 is greater than 0. But I'm going to need to figure out where that curve crosses the x-axis. So really, I want to solve the stationary points bit first. OK, so stationary when dy by dx is equal to 0. So x squared minus 10x plus 23 is equal to 0. Now that doesn't look like it's going to uh, factorise. So if we use the quadratic solver on our calculator, we can get 1 minus 10, 23. So 5 plus or minus uh, root 2. OK, they're the solutions to that quadratic. So... To solve that, I'd be looking at where this parabola is above the x-axis. 
So we'd have 5 minus root 2 here, 5 plus root 2 here. So it's increasing when we're above the x-axis, so in this region and that region. So x is less than 5 minus root 2, and x is greater than 5 plus root 2. So we'd be decreasing when dy by dx is less than 0. So solving the inequality x squared minus 10x plus 23 is less than 0. So in other words, where is the parabola now below the x-axis? So it's below it there. Okay, so we'd be between these two values. Now, can we visualise what's going on here? Okay, so really what's happening is that you've got some parabola, uh, sorry, not parabola, but a cubic curve here, okay? Uh, it's got its two stationary points. Now, I don't know kind of where it sits on the x-axis. I don't care, okay, where it's crossing the x-axis. Don't care about that. That point is representing your 5 minus root 2. That point is representing your 5 plus root 2. There's your stationary points. So it's increasing when x is less than 5 minus root 2. And it's increasing here when x is greater than 5 plus root 2. Is decreasing between those two values, between 5 for minus root 2 and 5 plus root 2. So the graph matches the inequalities that we found. Okay? So if you know what the graph looks like, you can use that to inform you of the inequalities. Okay? If it was a function that we didn't know what it looked like, that would be a little bit more problematic, okay? But at this level, at this stage, we shouldn't have to worry too much about what the graph looks like uh, beyond uh, a parabola and a cubic. It's more likely going to be a cubic, okay? But you could extend it further once you are more familiar with other types of graph.